Now let's see, how to make this bass shake effect inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So first, import your music and clip to the timeline. Here I'm using this music and video clip. You can download this music under the description link. So now going back to the first frame, and find where's our first beat starting. So the first beat starting here, now add a marker here. So click on the M button. Then find the second beat and add another marker. Do it continue until your clip is finished. Okay, now make a new adjustment layer. Then move the time indicator to the first marker. Now drag and drop the adjustment layer to the first marker. Then move to the effects tab and search for directional blur. Apply this effect on the adjustment layer. Now move over to the effect controls tab and under the directional blur effect, change the blur length 50. Now move one frame to the right side. So click on the right arrow key and make a cut on the adjustment layer. So click control plus K. Again, move one frame to the right and make another cut here. Do it continue and cut few frames. Okay, now delete the last part of the adjustment layer. Then zoom in the timeline so you can see every cut properly. Okay, now leave one cut and delete one cut. So it'll look like this. Now select the first cut. And as we can see the blur length is 50. Now select the second cut. And decrease the blur length 5 from our previous cut. So make it 45. Again select the third cut, and make it 40. Now select the last cut. And make it 35. You don't see huge difference here. But the little details make your edit stand out. Now mark all the cuts. And hold an alt button. Then move them to the second marker. Again mark them all, and move to the third marker. As we can see here is a single base. So we can delete the third cut, and leave one cut. Do the same thing for the next markers. And that's all. Let's see a quick preview. Now let's see how to add the black bar to the top and bottom. So going back to the project panel. And add the adjustment to the timeline. Then move to the effects tab, and search for crop effect. Apply this effect to the top adjustment layer. Then move to the effect controls. Under the crop effect. Cut the top and bottom 11%. Now let's see the final preview. And that's all for today guys, if you enjoy this effect, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel to ask me on my Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.